Hello Internet, Big Dave here and I am cheap. How cheap? Well, let's just say my cheapness is not in question. This is Scorgasm from Indie Royale's second difficult bundle. Of course, you know the drill. I paid 15 bucks for the bundle. Scorgasm was one of those games. How cheap am I? Well, I don't really know. Scorgasm comes from Charlie's Games. Charlie also responsible for two of the additional games that were added. Both of them are very similar to Scorgasm. They're both very colorful shooter games. Uh, so these were bonus games that were added to the bundle. Uh, games number uh, four, n number five and six, uh, which were added to the bundle. Uh, Bullet, uh, Bullet Candy Perfect was one of them, and the name of the other one I cannot pronounce. Uh, so, yes, Scorgasm. Let's get on to it. Charlie's, uh, Charlie's Games is actually just one guy, Charlie, a fellow from the UK, who uh, makes these sort of uh, shoot 'em up games in his, uh, well, I don't know about his spare time, but uh, he certainly seems to be passionate about them. So let's take a look at Scorgasm. Pretty standard options and everything on Scorgasm. I don't really generally make a habit of going through the options. Um, but, uh, you know, there are options. So I ran through the how to play, which gave me a good idea of exactly what I was doing or what I'm expected to try to do. Um, and, uh, yeah, let's get right into this business. As I have to do easy peasy, apparently. So here we go. Level 1A. Now, uh, one thing that is definitely... Uh, fun about the dynamic of this game is that there's no button to fire. You actually just fire by using the secondary stick, or if you're using a keyboard and mouse, by using the mouse. So you point in the direction that you want to fire, and it fires in that direction. I really like that as opposed to having to watch a cursor. Um, I just point whatever direction I want to fire in, and the ship turns, and the ship fires in that direction. So. Um, for someone like me who doesn't spend a lot of time with a controller in his hand, it is really, really helpful to have a control scheme like that. Uh, I feel a lot, uh, a lot more natural playing this game than I have playing some other dual stick shooters, Alien Breed, for instance, with a controller. I almost died right there. Oh my lord! So uh, yeah, such is Scorgasm. I mean, this is what it is. It is a colorful uh, shooter. But it gets very, very hairy at times. It's not sort of a uh, an Arcadia or Geometry Wars speed shooter. Uh, it's a lot more about uh, an overwhelming amount of enemies coming at you in a limited space, um, as opposed to having to be very, very, very quick on your feet and watch out for hundreds of things coming at you from all angles. It's very deliberate about where the enemies are going to come from, but that doesn't necessarily make the game easy. Uh, what it means is that uh, you know from which direction death is coming, but that doesn't necessarily mean you can stop it. Uh, you can see here, I'm starting to get a little overwhelmed. Stop to grab that power-up. Lasers. I'm under the impression that lasers just simply make your shots more powerful. I think they maybe pass through the enemies and hit the ones behind them. Uh, eventually these guys will start shooting. Well, not these guys, but there are certain enemies that do shoot. Um, you can see me picking up bonuses and stuff there for, like, comboing and whatnot. Perfect. Perfect meaning I didn't die. So this is one of the interesting things about this game. It is, um, it's non-linear, of course not here. I only have one exit. Um, but it, uh, it, it promotes itself as being somewhat non-linear in that you can select multiple exits depending on how you do. So if I had gotten rank B, uh, perhaps one of these other exits would be lit. So uh, we're going to head up here to the only possible exit. And uh, that's that's an interesting concept. The better you do, uh, you know, if you do well you get a, a different path than if you do poorly. Um, if I'm supposed to, I suppose if you hit, uh, you know, a certain amount of combos, maybe you unlock things. Um, you know, really the sky's the limit. Once you implement uh, a performance-based progression system like that, you can get some really, really interesting things going on, and I'd be really interested to see how exactly this plays out as the game moves forward. So far, Scorgasm, I'm really impressed by it. I like it a whole hell of a lot. I mean, it is what it... one up. It is what it is. You know, it's it's not... Um, it, you know, this, is, this kind of feels like the same thing I said about Arcadia. Um, it's not trying to be something remarkable. 
Uh, it's trying to be exactly what it is, and 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 that is one of the things that um, that I find myself loving about indie games and indie developers in general um, is that they have no pretense about being great uh, AAA games. They, they, they have no pretense that the games that they make uh, would offer you the same depth of, of a AAA title that takes millions of dollars to develop. Uh, what they do is they give you some very to-the-point gaming, um, and they do it really, really well. And I'm, I'm constantly impressed by the indie developers who make games like this. I mean, again, this game does what it does. It is a shooter. Um, it is a... Ooh, what is that? That thing be shooting at me over there. Uh, you know, it, and it, it's, it's absolutely... It's absolutely fantastic at doing what it does. You can see I got a little, like, close-range... Uh, I got a little close-range weapon that allows me to... Uh, destroy these shots and enemies and stuff at close range, that's um, quite useful. So yeah, I mean, uh, a synopsis of what I what I mean or what I'm trying to say, uh, yeah, indie games are cool, and I like when indie developers make cool games. Um, I like when they make games that are not pretentious. Uh, I like games when they, oh my god, I'm, being, I'm, I'm getting overwhelmed. Okay, okay, there we go. Oh my lord, this uh, this is getting intense. Um, I, uh, uh, it's just um, oh, power up. Oh. Now I will ev eventually run out of run out of power to. Oh good lord, I will eventually run out of power to use that little shot, uh, that little, you know. Uh, but I, as long as I keep shooting enemies, I'll have I'll, I'll keep getting. Oh man, okay, I'm palpitating here. Uh, so long as I keep shooting enemies, I'll keep getting that power back. And I'll still be able to use that uh, that shot. So that was pretty crazy right there, guys. Um, okay, so here's one of our first um, non-linear bits. Oh, I got rank S. Nice. Um, one of our first non-linear bits. So we went hard, insane, normal. <sighs> All right. I'm gonna regret this. I mean, I, I that was normal. Okay. I know I'm gonna regret going to insane, but. I just got to see what I just got to see what insane is. So we're gonna go over here and uh, yeah, let's just see what the hell happens. I can only imagine. I'm I'm bracing myself right now for the absolute worst. Oh, okay. Spinners. Oh yeah, on twenty two. Let's go. Oh man, I don't like the look of this. Uh, okay. Power up. Lasers. I'm firing my lasers. Okay, there we go. Oh man, oh man, oh man. Okay. So, uh, so yeah, um,. These are going to be famous last words, but uh, hey, it's not so bad right now. And now crazy stuff's going to start happening, I'm sure. Okay, that guy over there is shooting green blobules at me. Lasers, got my lasers, alright. I like the little homing missiles. Oh lord, something's spawning in in the center. This is not going to be good. Oh, what the hell is that? Oh my lord. Oh, this is uncalled for. Oh goodness. Okay, okay. Uh... Oh man, how am I not dead yet? Oh man. Uh... Uh... Difficult games make me physically ill. Like they, they physically, they actually affect my physiology. Oh man, oh good lord, okay, okay, okay. Okay, so, again, uh, famous last words, the worst is over. Okay, well the worst is over for this wave at least. 
I can't believe I got through that. That was insane. Um, that is pretty fun. I mean, that has put a smile on my face. I mean, you look at this. This is just... It, this game is... It, it, it's... It's excelling at doing this thing that it does. And the thing that it does is just so badass. I mean, it's just... Uh, I don't know. It's just fun. I mean... I play these modern games, and you know, I play something like Space Marine, of course. You guys who watch my TGN stuff, you'll know me for playing Space Marine. I play Space Marine, or I play a modern MMO like Rift, and I like so much of the gaming dynamics. I like the storytelling, I like the uh, I like the progression, I like the feeling of character. But I play something like this, and I'm just like, oh man. You know what the exposition for this game was? It was a letter sent to you by the king of the world. And he said, uh, hey, there's uh, trouble, and aliens are trying to kill us. You know, that was it. I don't know where I'm at, or when I'm at, or, you know, why I'm in this little ship, or where it comes from, or, you know, whoa, what the hell? What I know is I got to save the world, and I have a tiny ship, and an infinite supply of lasers to do it with, and that's it, and that's beautiful, just beautiful, I mean, oh. I really, you know, the thing I like about this game too is that it does sort of, it lulls you into a false sense of security. Um, so I'm finding out now you get heart bonuses for destroying the bullets, so uh, yeah, it's a good idea to destroy bullets, I would, I would assume. Uh, because it, this is Scorgasm, and one wants to achieve uh, a Scorgasm, of course. And you would do that, I'd imagine, by getting the highest possible score. These are like little weird daisies that are just sort of tumbling towards me. Oh, man. I mean, this is just... Oh, no. Y'all, come on, come on. Oh, there's something very fulfilling about this. Very fulfilling. Oh, fantastic. Oh. This just feels like a plan is coming together. That's what this feels like. Oh, there we go. I guess I should probably shoot the guys that are shooting out all these bullets, but I'm having too much fun. <laughs> I'm racking up the hearts, man. Racking them up. Oh, there we go. There we go. So it had to happen eventually. Look at all these power-ups. Oh, man. I mean, this is just... This game is just... It's just great. I mean... Uh, it, it really... It's, it's taking me back. I mean, it's got that obvious retro feel. And you can tell that, uh, that you know, Charlie, this Charlie character... He's really honed his skill at doing this right here. At making this and making this very, very well. Oh, it's just fantastic. All right, we'll hit up one more insane level, and then we will go ahead and call it for Scorgasm. I have no doubt that I will probably be torn to bits on this particular level. But, uh, but you know... Why not? Challenge yourself, you know? that's I think that's something that has been missing in so many games um, in the last, oh, ten years at least, is that sense of real challenge. Of course, Dark Souls and Demon Souls, you know, famously uh, known for their high level of difficulty. And, and it, honestly, I would love to play Dark Souls, um, but... Ooh, what is this? It's, a, it's looking like a laser. Oh, wait, wait, uh, to quote myself, is that a laser? Is that a laser? That's a laser. I think that's a laser. There we go. Harkening back to my, one of my most embarrassing moments when I didn't record part of a video. What the hell? What, what is this stuff? Is that thing coming towards me or is that just an optical illusion? I gotta remember I need to kill stuff. I want the points for killing stuff. Oh, good boy. Okay, okay. Oh, oh, gee. Oh, what? Uh, oh, okay, okay. I was gonna call out for Jesus, but I better, uh, I better call out to somebody I know, huh? 
that's what <laughs> that's what my mom always says when I uh, when I take the Lord's name in vain. Oh, what happened? I didn't even see that. All right, guys. Well, uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and finish it up on Scorgasm here. Uh, I've been thoroughly entertained by this game. Um, I, I'm a, there is there is a gigantic smile upon my face uh, right now. I'm having a hell of a, a hell of a good time playing this game. I hope you bought your Indie Royale second difficult bundle and you are already owning you are already an owner of Scorgasm. And I hope Scorgasm is not owning you uh, the way it has already owned me to some to some degree. Oh man, oh firing my lasers. Oh, it's a giant metal penis extending towards me ever so slowly. That's a little bit creepy. I'm I'm sorry. Can I cross? Th I just don't want to cross that little laser. That's my uh, my career of gaming has told me you, you never cross a laser. Okay, now the laser's gone. I'm trying to close up the video, but I'm making it to a, a new milestone. Of course, of course, it's the tip. Of course, the tip is the most sensitive part. Of course. Uh, yes, I, I mean, I suppose if one wants to initiate a scorgasm, you would want to focus on the tip. Oh, my lord. Okay, and I am dead, and, well, hey, the thing sort of exploded. All right, guys, I have been Big Dave. This is Scorgasm. I am just grinning from ear to ear. I hope you guys get a chance to play it. I hope you guys get a chance to enjoy Scorgasm. And, uh, yeah, until next time, take it easy.